As your child grows up, you may find them having tantrums or meltdowns more often. Thanks, Professor Elvis. Hi, I'm Sadida. All of us have times when we wake up from the wrong side of the bed or have things happen to us that ruin our day. George's Best Bad Day by Ruth Chan shows children that they are not the only ones who experience bad days and that is perfectly normal. It inspires children to be proactive in finding ways to cheer themselves up. Sometimes, plans may not necessarily work but something nice could happen unexpectedly and that gives meaning to having a best bad day. With a bit of fun and friendship, bad moods will be gone in no time. Before you dive into Georgie's best bad day, you could ask your child what they think makes a bad day and at the end of the book, what they think could make a bad day better. Maybe you could do those activities with them. Describe what you are doing using as many different words as possible. It will help your child to pick up new words and expand the vocabulary. To get more fun out of reading, read aloud with your child. You could also act out the story together using makeshift characters out of objects you can find at home. For example, making puppets using socks, spoons or cardboard. Having conversations help children learn about language and communication. Tune in by paying attention to what your child is communicating to you. Talk more with your child using descriptive words and encourage them to describe what they see. Take turns by encouraging your child to respond to your words and actions. To help your child learn new words, you can create a print-rich environment by labeling objects around the house. Every time you use them, point to the word and say it clearly. Draw attention to words on things such as cereal boxes, bottles, magazine, and newspapers. And these are some tips for reading and a book recommendation that teaches children about regulating emotions and feelings. Check out the NLB mobile app to search for more books for your child. Wow, that was very informative. Did you get all the tips from the librarian? That's all for today's episode. I have definitely learned more about children having meltdowns and how to deal with them. Check out these links if you would like to find out more.